So just as a quick review, Figueroa is a gem that lets you manage your API keys and environment variables, things like that securely. So we've already installed the gem, so now all we have to do is run this installer. Now this is something that I've actually run into issues before where uh, it uh, hasn't created the file or it's uh, run into some conflict, so uh, either way there, it's pretty easy to get around it. But just type in Figaro install and this time it actually uh, worked. I have had times where uh, it ran into conflict, um, but in that case it's pretty easy. All this is really doing is it's creating a uh, file called application.yaml inside of the config directory, and then it's adding itself into the git ignore file, because obviously none of the things that we want inside of this file are things that should be included in the git ignore file. Um, or in the git uh, repository. So we'll get out of these and if we go to config now we see we have a nice new file called application.yaml and has a bunch of content uh, that's just all commented out. We can get rid of it uh, but the nice thing that you can see is you have the ability because it's a .yaml file to dictate what things you, you want available in production and which things you want in uh, development and then also things that are just available to the application uh, regardless. So I'm just going to get rid of all this and I'm going to paste in the things that we want. So I'm going to paste this in. So this is, and make sure your indentation is accurate because YAML files actually do look for that. Okay, so here we have our AWS access key ID and it's mapped to this value. Same thing for AWS secret access key is mapped to this value right here. And then these items are ones I've not created yet. We'll do that in the next video. Um, but uh, this is what we're gonna call it. And this is a standard naming convention with working with AWS is you do the name of your app, dash, and then development, and production. And so you can see with the way the file's set up that if you do development, then you can put any of these items in here and you can see there it's namespaced. So you can do AWS bucket, but it knows if it's in the development environment, then it's only available uh, inside of that uh, specific uh, environment when you're running that server. So uh, if I push this up to Heroku, it's going to automatically know that it needs to call Photo Flash production. Uh, whereas if it's uh, just here locally, then it's going to be Photo Flash development. So that's all you have to do to integrate Figueroa. Now we don't have to pass these API keys around in the application. We'll be able to just call these directly just with an environment variable call which we'll talk about in a couple videos.